Hey guys, it's Gypsy. Welcome back to the Paper Lion. It is roughly around 8 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. I finished my challenge. I've actually finished it um, probably around 1 o'clock today, but me and my girls went and did a little shopping. And then I we had lunch and then I came back and got lazy. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and uh, record this video before the day was over because officially I beat my challenge and I just wanted to show you guys really quick what they ended up looking like. Um, I'll start off with the one that I was doing a little bit on camera. Um, I did go back and fix a few things. I added um, this lace. I left this kind of shabby because I like um, the roughly edges or the ragged edges. And I fixed the ruffle. It was sticking out kind of squarish, and I didn't like that. So anyway, I went back and, and kind of tucked it in a little bit. And they've all been, um, you know, binded. And this is, I'm just going to, first I'm going to show you the covers. And then I'm going to show you how the process that I was talking about, how I mix and matched um, the papers, even though that a lot of them were the same, but anyway, let's get that's So that's the first one. And I'm going to talk about each one individually, just kind of show it to you a little bit. And I tried to do some of them not too frou-frou and then, you know, for the price, I didn't make them elaborate or anything but I still tried to make them look nice and I, I wanted to make like a variety and of course I got my variety um they all came out looking extremely different no two are really alike and I like that and I wanted to go for some that were um you know that anybody could buy you know because a lot of the things that I make are typically um feminine so I wanted to throw up threw in a few that kind of you know anybody could buy I really like this one at the end I want you guys if uh to comment below which one is your favorite or which one you think might sell first at market and if any of you see one of these that you like um just let me know and I can get it listed for you on Macari. I really like this one too. It's got all those pretty gold accents and I use a little bit of uh, medical gauze on the back of that little placard there. And as you can see, I'll show you, I did um, get to use a lot of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I got to use a lot of the um, springtime charms that I did. I have a video in um, a tutorial and I'll post that below for you guys who didn't see that. If you want to see how I made those really quick. And they really came in handy with this project because I was I was able to use them in lots of different areas. But anyway, isn't that one pretty? And some of them I kept kind of simple for, you know, for what they are. I like this one too. I think that ruffle came out really pretty on that. I like that one. All right. And I'm really, <laughs> really thrilled at myself that I was able to get out 20 journals in three days. So this is something I'm definitely going to um, be doing on a, a regular basis, maybe at least once a month to kind of keep my stock, you know, up. And, but that'll give me time to, um, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, the reason I was doing this is that I don't have time to really concentrate on um, my more elaborate journals because they sell out pretty quick and I can only get a couple done here and there. So while I have these in the background, um, I can then work on something else. There's another one of those. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm so sorry. There's another one of those charms. And here's another one. Oh, I love this one. This is so cute, so pretty, and I like this one too. I think that one turned out really sweet. 
I just got a little bit of lace on top of a heart doily and one of those little cutout things that come in some of the paper pads. I like this one as well. And I did a little extra book page on the back of that. I don't, was just filling it. I don't know why. But I thought that one was pretty. And then there's this one. And some of them to keep up with the variety. Some of them, I, I don't know if you can see that. But I embroidered, I um, stitched them with, like, this one has a silvery embroidery thread. Then I did, like, a white um, with some of them. And then um, on, like, this one, on, like, these, I did more of a cream. And I did a thinner embroidery um, floss with those. But I was trying to go for a lot of the spring colors. Oh, and there's some more of the charms. And I tried to use them in all different ways, just adding a little ribbon here and there. But back to this one. This one's I thought that one turned out pretty cute. And I was able to use some of the scraps that I actually got from the mystery bag that I did an unboxing on um, my channel. So I was able to use a, little, a lot of the pieces like this from there. Um, in this one, I was able to use some of that um, cutout paper that I got from the mystery bag. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, I like this one. See, this one is a more neutral one, I think. So that can go either way. Anybody can buy that one. And I, I added a, a couple of little pieces there to keep that one nice and simple. I thought that one was really pretty. And then I like this one as well. And actually, in my mystery, uh, I wasn't really sure what it was, but I kind of guessed that it might be, um, I think I said fabric sheets. And it turns out it was, <laughs> I took a smell, and it indeed was fabric um, sheets uh, that had been, you know, recycled. So they still have a, a small scent to them, which is actually kind of cool. But yeah, so I love mystery bags because you just never know what you're going to get. And here's another pretty, um, like, not as fancy. I thought about adding a lot of lace to this one like I did with the other ones. But some people don't like the really lacy journals. So I was like, I'm trying to keep it to where I can appeal to more customers. And I like this one. This one's a really, to me, a very handsome one. Uh, make great things happen. And indeed, that's what I'm trying to do. I love that that pattern with the silver embossing in it. I think that's really, or what they call silver foil. I love that one. Um, and here on this one, there's another one of those cutouts that came in the mystery um, bin. So that I was able to put that to good use because there's, there's like that silver foil. And this one's a handsome journal as well that can go either way. And we are coming to the last one. When I was, before I bound the signatures, this one was actually my favorite. But then when I bound the signatures, I was a little disappointed because at first, before I bound them, I don't know if you guys can see this really pretty green trim, but it was it was sticking out. So I could see it here. And so it was really pretty. And so when I bound it, it kind of pushed it in. And so I was a little disappointed with that. I almost considered actually cutting this portion here just so that I could see that, but I've already done my pockets on the interior. And so I was like, you know what? It's, it's good enough. They'll be able to see it um, when they pick it up. But anyway, what I wanted to show you guys, if any of you are thinking about doing this challenge, which is, you know, really fun. I thought it was really fun. Like I said, I crave a variety. So this actually really satisfied that. Um, one thing that I will, when I do it again, I'm going to be looking for papers or decorator papers 
that are double sided to save time because like with these um the other ones i was only able to do four i only did four that had the double sided uh decorator paper and i spent a lot of time <laughs> proofreading i had to proofread all of the pages that i used to make sure that it was presentable to be put in the journal so next time i do it i will definitely be going for double sided paper because that's just a lot of extra work and then on top of that you then have to ink all of those pages well i had to ink all of those pages and you know take the time to glue every single one of those pages on so next time i will definitely not be using if i can help it i mean of course unless you like the into the interior being white you can for sure leave it blank if you're doing this but for me i kind of like to you know get rid of that give it some interest so next time i'll definitely be given you know looking for paper that i can use both sides but anyway what i wanted to show you is like in my first video i said that my, with my process well actually you i'm not going to tell you my process in this one if you want to see my process you'll have to go to my first video but I'm going to show you how each and every one, I'm not going to show you each and every one, but I'm going to give you like a couple examples of what I mean by how I was able to create variety pretty much using the same pages in most all of these uh, journals. Let me see if I can give you another example. Um... Like that one has music page as the first. Then that one with the music page on top of under that one. Then like this in green. So when the customers pick up these journals, each and every one will look like a different journal. Even though they all have like similar pieces in them. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, if you want to see how I achieved that, go watch my uh, first video on this, the making of this, these journals. I'll link that description uh, below. I'll also link um, the video that shows you how I made these charms in the description as well. But anyway, guys, what do you think? did i do good i think i think i did really good i'm really proud of myself i was able to give myself a variety able to get this out because normally i might get one journal one or two journals done in a week and if they sell on that sunday then i gotta start the process all over again which just doesn't leave me time to work on the the really fun journals that I like because I'm trying to get them out too fast. But anyway, with this, I hope this will help solve that problem for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing this. If you're new here, uh, welcome. If you are a returning uh, subscriber, thank you for being here. I'm going to be trying to put videos out more often. Um, pretty much on Mondays and Tuesdays are like the best days for me. But if I get real confident, <laughs> I might end up putting some out, you know, on other days. But anyway, let me know which ones you think uh, are your favorites, which one you think will um, sell the fastest. And if you have any trips, any tricks or tips for how I might make uh, journals faster, please leave those comments below. I look forward to seeing your comments. Thank you very much for being here with me. I hope you guys have a great evening. It's game night, so me and my girls are facing to go play Monopoly. And I'll see you guys in the next video.